OMG, Mabu High Squad. The, oh, good morning, Heinz. Hello, good morning. <laughs> Guys, you must see Hope right now. It'll blow your mind. Look. Hope! Hey guys, welcome to my daily vlogs. Please subscribe. Hope you're so big. I thought you were done growing. This is past the 45 day mark. Like, you're so large. Mm-hmm. So large, Hope. But one thing I did notice is she's extra energetic now. Uh, I'll show you later um, the diet changes we've made. And I can see a positive effect on her like overall vitality, her behavior, her energy levels. <laughs> and turns out a lot of you guys are now giving in your final, I suppose, votes. And turns out Hope here is a hen. <laughs> Finally, you guys made up your mind. She's a hen and not a rooster. Why? Because this comb here at the top isn't as large. These flaps here aren't as long. The feathers here around her neck and around here, the base of her tail are rounded. Roosters have more pointed, longer feathers, like a mane. Um, she lacks the spur at the back, the fighting spur that male roosters develop. So, you are a hen. You're a girl. Finally, we have our answer. You know what I'm saying? Finally. And you're shedding. By the way, guys, if you're new to these vlogs, welcome to the channel. Beautiful morning. I'm Mikey Bustos. We are here in Manila, Philippines, living with all sorts of creatures here. Ah, no pecking my toe. She likes to peck my toe. Be sure to hit the like button if you enjoyed this vlog and hit the subscribe button to join the Mabuhai squad. We will be your daily dose of positive vibes online. How are you doing, the guys? Hmm? Good girl. Mm-hmm. <laughs> You are so big. Yes, you. You are so, so big. Why? How did you get so large? The guy and I are laughing at, are laughing at the rooster. Yes. Yes. Thank you. <laughs> yes. The guy is hanging out with me while I do a little bit of work. And she likes to groom my ears because I think she's like hormonal right now and she starts grooming my ears randomly. What? And give me kisses. She moves to this side and then she's gonna start grooming my ear in a bit. Okay, she's grooming my shirt. There she goes. <laughs> grooming my ear. <laughs> Got it tickles. Tickles! <laughs> this is a parrot's way, guys, of telling you that they love you. Okay, seriously, are you getting wax in there or...? Ooh. I'm here on my balcony um, with Hope. I'm trying to teach her to eat um, Kong Kong and she's eating it. Look at that. Um, the reason for that is because trying to get her on a vegetarian diet, low fat, low protein, and um, limiting her food intake as well, like not letting her feed until she's full whenever she wants. Um, and you guys have told me, you chicken experts have told me it'll prolong her life. Because as you know, broiler chickens do not live very long. So we might as well try to make Hope's life here as long as possible. And I just taught her how to eat kung kong, which is great. At first she didn't like it. Hey, here, here. She especially likes it when I feed it to her for some reason. Here. Yes. Oh, and look who else has joined us. Hi, hey. guys. <laughs> oh boy, life with birds. She loves kung kung. Yes, yes, yes. Go, go, eat your greens. Eat your greens. Gaia, are you ready to fly? She pooed, which means she is. I gotta come back and clean that up. Here she comes. <laughs> what an expert. You're an expert flyer. So good. I've also got to work on strengthening Hope's legs. You know, so she can build enough muscle to sustain her size. Come on, let's go. Come, run, run, run. Run, 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 run. Come on. All right, <laughs> she's fast. Yes, come on. Run, run, run. Come on. <laughs> You're such a f 
fast chicken. Build those muscles. You don't want the chickens to develop like muscular atrophy, you know what I mean? Like from not using their muscles, which is very sad because I imagine a lot of like farm raised chickens like raised in cages their whole life, like don't really get to exercise their muscles. And I don't want that for hope. Oh, <laughs> she's, as you can see, she's a very strong runner. Let's go, come on. Good girl. Okay, let's go. She wants to check out the place before she goes in. Okay, come on. Don't worry, Hope. We will have the farm soon. Come on. Good girl. Hey guys, let's fly again. Step up. Good girl. Yeah, she's like, yes, freedom. Let's fly. All right, guys, so I'm gonna try something different today. And it's something Ligaya has to learn if I ever buy some wild miracle, free fly her outside. Um, and it's this thing called blind recall. Um, and what you have to do basically is kind of like hide around a corner and call her and see if she will fly to me, like fly to find me. Um, and this is an important skill to do um, if you're gonna free fly them outside because sometimes they'll fly out of view and they can just hear you and you could be calling out their name and they're up in a tree somewhere they can't see you but you want to get them to get in the habit of like flying to find you you know what I mean so let's do this Gaia step up step up good girl oh my gosh that was almost a blind recall <laughs> almost yes I went around the corner and you flew with me yeah yeah, we're gonna do a blind recall. Let's try one more time, okay? Step up, step up. Oops, she's tired. You tired? Wanna go? Step up. Okay, no, nope. body language says she's, she's not willing to fly. So when she gets like that, I don't force her because you want them to end on success. You know what I mean? Like they wanna come out of these flying sessions confident and positive and you know, just so that they don't learn to hate these flying sessions. So Hope is currently shedding <laughs> her feathers. Um, I guess they're, they're old feathers. But one thing I did notice is if you look carefully at her feet, little tiny spurs are growing out of them. Like that little dot there. That's like a spur, but because she's a hen, it's smaller. She's losing a lot of feathers now. Look at that. <laughs> We're finding it all over the house. Watch this. Look at how calm she be she becomes when her head is stuck into this bamboo. <laughs> Why? She just like suddenly freezes. It's pretty amazing in there, huh? She's like, bamboo? I've never seen anything like it. <laughs> She's spellbound by this. Is it relaxing in the bamboo? What do you see in there? She's like, I want to go back. Here. <laughs> she like does not move at all. <laughs> it's cool in there, huh? Was this your first bamboo experience? Were you bamboozled by this? <laughs> I'm gonna do everything I can to make sure you get to enjoy the farm. Mm hmm All right? So just eat what I give you, mm hmm and be a good hen. You've got thousands of godparents rooting for you, all right? She's back to her favorite spot, right up against the glass to watch the axolotls, her favorite pastime. A brand new day, epic day. There's Ligaya. Mm -hmm. Now, Mabuhai squad, today is going to be very special because we're about to have a lot of fun and can't wait to take you along. Mabuhai squad, today we are going to 